Question 14. Extreme fails to unmarshal my JSON string and I do not know why. Answer. Deserialization of JSON is currently done by Jettison that transforms the JSON string into a STX stream. Extreme itself does nothing know about the JSON format here. If your JSON string reaches some kind of complexity and you do not know how to design your Java objects and configure Extreme to match those, you should have a look at the intermediate XML that is processed by Extreme in the end. This might help to identify the problematic spots. Also consider then marshalling your Java objects into XML first. You can use following code to generate the XML. String JSON equals string foo. Hierarchical stream driver driver equals new jettison mapped XML driver. String reader reader equals new string reader JSON. Hierarchical stream reader HSR equals driver dot create reader reader. String writer writer equals new string writer. New hierarchical stream copier dot copy HSR new pretty print writer 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 dot close system dot out dot print ln writer dot to string Question 15. What limitations has Extreme's JSON support? Answer. JSON represents a very simple data model for easy data transfer. Especially, it has no equivalent for XML attributes. Those are written with a leading at character, but this is not always possible without violating the syntax. For example, for array types, those may silently drop and makes it therefore difficult to implement deserialization. References are another issue in the serialized object graph. Since JSON has no possibility to express such a construct. You should therefore always set the no underscore references mode of extreme. Additionally you cannot use implicit collections since the properties in a JSON object must have unique names. Question 16. Why are my long values incorrect in JavaScript? Answer. JavaScript does not know about integer values. All numbers are represented with double precision floats using 64 bits, i.e. 754. These types cannot represent technically the complete value range of 64 bit integers like Java's long. With the JSON writer, you have the possibility since extreme 1.4.5 to set IEE -E underscore 754 underscore mode to force any long value that is not representable as JavaScript number to be written as string value in JSON. With the jettison based jettison mapped XML driver you may either set a different type converter or force the default converter to write integer values out of the range of 32 bit always as string setting the system property jettison.map.type converter dot enforce underscore 32 bit underscore integer to true not available for jettison 1.0.1 and Java 1.4. Question 17. Why are there invalid characters in my JSON representation? Answer. The JSON spec requires any JSON string to be in UTF-8 encoding. However, Extreme ensures this only if you provide an input stream or an output stream. If you provide a reader or writer you have to ensure this requirement on your own. Question 18. Why does Extreme not convert on Java.Beans.Event Handler? Answer. Since Extreme version 1.4.7 it does no longer handle an event handler automatically. Such an instance can be used to initiate calls on arbitrary instances at the serialization time for example process builder. Start you can register a reflection converter instance explicitly for the event handler if you need support for such instances. Question 19. Is Extreme XXE vulnerable? CV 2016-3674 Answer. Extreme does not contain an own XML parser, therefore it depends on the parser selected with the hierarchical stream driver if the current Extreme instance is XXE vulnerable at deserialization time. However, Extreme tries to deactivate the processing of external entities by default. Status for the different supported XML parsers. Question 20. How does Extreme compare to java.beans.xml encoder? Answer. Extreme is designed for serializing objects using internal fields, whereas XML encoder is designed for serializing Java beans using public API methods, typically in the form of getx, x, x, setx, x, x, addx, x, x, and remove x, x, x methods. Question 21. How does Extreme compare to JAX Java API for XML binding? Answer. JAX is a Java binding tool. It generates Java code from a schema and you are able to transform from those classes into XML matching the processed schema and back. Note that you cannot use your own objects. You have to use what is generated. 
Question 22. Is Extreme Thread a safe? Answer. Yes. Once the Extreme instance has been created and configured, it may be shared across multiple threads allowing objects to be serialized slash deserialized concurrently unless you enable the auto detection to process annotations on the fly. Actually the creation and initialization of Extreme is quite expensive, therefore it is recommended to keep the Extreme instance itself. If you absolutely have to rely on annotation processing on the fly, you will have to use separate extreme instances for each thread either by using every time a new instance or by a shared pool question 23 how much memory does extreme consume answer this cannot be answered in general but following topics have impact on the memory XML parser technology in use you should use a streaming parser like XPP3 or STX DOM based parsers process the complete XML and create their document model in memory before the first converter of extreme is called your object model is it necessary to keep the complete object graph in memory at once as alternative you might use object streams or write custom converters that can load and save objects of your object model on the fly without adding them to the object graph physically. As example see the implementation of the XML ArrayList in combination with the file stream strategy from Extreme's persistence package to keep parts of the object graph separate. References By default Extreme supports references to the same object in an object graph. This implies that Extreme keeps track of all serialized and deserialized objects internally. These references are kept with weak references so that the memory can be freed as soon as nobody references these objects anymore. XML values Any tag and attribute value that is converted into a Java string in the object graph will use by default the same string instance unless it exceeds 38 characters length of a UUID string representation. Extreme caches To increase performance extreme caches quite a lot like classes inverters to use L. Iasing Tag names All those caches make usage of weak references or will exist only while marshalling one object graph resp unmarshalling one input stream question 24 can the performance of extreme be increased answer extreme is a generalizing library it inspects and handles your types on the fly therefore it will normally be slower than a piece of optimized java code generated out of a schema however it is possible to increase the performance anyway write custom converters for those of your types that occur very often in your xml keep a configured extreme instance for multiple usages creation and initialization is quite expensive compared to the overhead of Extreme when calling Marshall or Unmarshall. Use XPP3 or STX passes. Note you should never try to optimize code for performance simply because you believe that you have detected a bottleneck. Always use proper tools like a profiler to verify where your hotspots are and whether your optimization was really successful or not. Oh, question 25. Is Extreme a data binding tool? Answer No. It is a serialization tool. Question 26. Can Extreme generate classes from XSD? Answer no. For this kind of work data binding tools such as Jaxpor XML beans are appropriate. Question 27. Why is there no SAX reader? Answer. Extreme works on a stream-based parser model. While SAX is event-based, the stream-based model implies that the caller consumes the individual tokens from the XML parser on demand. While in an event-based model the parser controls the application flow on its own and will use callbacks to support client processing. The different architecture makes it therefore impossible for Extreme to use an event-driven XML parser.